Have you ever wondered if it's a good idea to publish under a pseudonym or if maybe it would be a better idea to just use your own name? So today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about that, the pros and cons of using a pseudonym. You have a story to tell, but you don't know where to start. Let me show you how to free your story. I teach you how to write and how to dig deep in your soul to release your story and make a difference in the world. Welcome to the Julia Amante channel. If we're just meeting, I am Julia Amante. I'm a women's fiction author and also here on Fridays to give you a few writing tips. Okay, so let's talk about this idea of using a pseudonym. So using a pseudonym means that you're just using a different name. You're not using your own name. You're using a name that you decide uh, is a good name for you as an author. So it could, you know, you've heard uh, of this before, I'm sure, as authors use their pseudonyms or celebrities change their name. Uh, and it becomes their stage name or their celebrity name. And so as an author, you could do the same thing. You could decide that you want to, instead of using your name for whatever reason, uh, you're going to choose to use a different name. Now, is that a good idea? So back when I first started teaching, and when I first started teaching back in the 1990s, I was... Um, I was teaching elementary school. So at that time, I published a romance and I, uh, there were a couple of things that happened. One is that my, uh, my publisher, my editor didn't like uh, my name. So wanted a name that sounded more Hispanic, more Latino. So I decided that, okay, well maybe I actually might want to consider using a pseudonym because the other reason was I was an elementary school teacher, like I said, and I had this just weird, fear that I would go into like a parent-teacher conference and that my irrational fear, I have to say, because uh, I thought, well, my parent, when the, I'll be talking to a parent and the parent will say, oh, wow, you're this author and I read your book and I read those sex scenes and, you know, it would become about the book and the sex scenes rather than having a conversation about their child. Now, like I said, completely irrational out of all the millions of books out there, and I'm a brand new author, right? Uh, what would be the, the chances of them picking up my book and actually connecting it uh, to me? So, uh, but I decided, you know what, let's go ahead and I'll I'll choose a pseudonym, and that's what I did. So as I mentioned, what a pseudonym is, is just your pen name, right? It's the name that you're going to use to publish your book. So should you have it? What are some things that you should consider? The first thing that you want to do is do a simple Google search. Put that name into Google and see what pops up because you don't want to have the same name that uh, is, is very popular and other people have. You definitely don't want to have the same name that some other author has uh, because that could cause you some problems. So for me, the name that I chose was Lara Rios. And I won't even go into how or why I chose that name, but I just chose it. I thought it was very, I thought it worked well. It was nice and short. It'd be easy for me to sign. It'd be easy. It'd look good on a book cover. Uh, but there were some other reasons I chose it as well. But anyhow, that was the name that I chose. Lara, first name, Rio's last name. Now, um, come to find out, there uh, was another author who wrote children's books who already used that name. Uh, I don't know if it's her real name or not. There was a photographer who used that name. And in fact, when I let my website lapse, uh, another dumb thing, was I let when I let it lapse, what happened was that this uh, photographer actually picked that up and used in and you know is using that website I think to this day. So what you want to do is make sure that there isn't someone else out there that is also using your name that has the website that has all the things that you're going to need uh, to in order to you know you create a website and, and all of that. So you don't want any confusion. Um, so Google that name and see what's out there and then make a decision about whether that's going to be a good name or not or if you're going to need to change it. The other thing that you want to keep in mind is that your pseudonym is only for your book cover. Okay, so it's your, it's your author name, it's your pen name, but on the inside where you have your copyright symbol that uh, is going to have, you know, your name, you want to have your real name because essentially the pseudonym, the, the pen name is a fake name. It, that person doesn't really exist. 
uh, you you made that person up and you're using that as your business but you don't that person doesn't exist so it can cause problems if you don't if you you know if you don't have uh, proof you know the copyright shows that you you're the owner of that book you own that book you own the copyright for that book so you want to have you the legal real person be the owner of that book the author could be have the cover the name on the cover but uh or the, you know the pseudonym would have the would be on the cover but you would be the actual owner of the book so on the copyright symbol on the inside uh will, would be your name uh and you know one of the it actually helped me once when people when i was doing book signings and i didn't have a way for people to pay with a credit card or you know, when they were buying books so what uh you know people said well will you accept a check and i thought well yeah i, I guess so you know uh I, I didn't really want to because you can't <laughs> verify but i thought you know i'll go ahead and do it uh people that are buying books you know at, at a conference or something they're not really going to give me a bad check so I said fine and then when I went to cash it and I thought well where am I going to deposit this since I have to use I have to put it in my real bank account and it's made out to someone else how can I possibly deposit this in my account so I had to go to the you know to the bank talk to them and say look this is really me this is my author name and look at the copyright page it has my real name this is me and they thought well it's not really something legal that we can use but they were very nice and they decided that it was okay they were going to allow me to deposit that check so uh, you know it, it did help in that instance but one of the things they did recommend was that i actually have a business account uh, with that name as my business so uh, in the you know after that I, I did change that but you still want to make sure that you own the rights to the book that that copyright is in your actual real name so why would you even want to use a pseudonym uh, well there's different reasons if you're not a paranoid teacher who thinks that their uh, you know parents are going to recognize their name there there's other reasons right so it could be that your name is just too long maybe too difficult to pronounce and you fear that it will be it'll just be too hard to put on a book cover or people will just never be able to say your name that could be a reason and some people do decide to change their name uh, to a pseudonym because of that reason another reason that authors decide that they would like to take on a pseudonym is that they may be already writing so they already writing in a genre in one genre and then they decide they want to write in a different genre so they decide that the best thing to do is just create a different author a different person that will write the new books because you don't want to confuse your readers if your readers if you're writing romance and you're then you want to write horror uh, you're not going to be able to really probably carry your readers over anyways and you're going to confuse them like why in the world did she just write this book when these are the type of books that she writes so um nora roberts did that she changed her name to jd robb when she changed the the style well she didn't change the style but when she took on an additional style right so instead of writing strictly romances she started writing more suspenseful books and so she changed her name and neither one of those names are actually her real name anyways uh so i think her real name is eleanor uh, robertson or something like that so anyhow the point is if you already are publishing or you're known in a different for you know as, as a blogger or as uh, in a different area for your name you might want to choose a different name to publish your novels and in the past women used to take on pseudonyms because it wasn't easy for a woman to get published so they would take on a male sounding name so that they could get published now, the bronte sisters were an example of that where they took on male sounding names but in the modern world uh it's it works the other way around we had in romance writers of america he was actually the president his name was harold Laurie, and he published under leigh greenwood so just to make it sound more uh feminine or more you know like a woman was actually writing so sometimes we do that right we uh, feel that there may be some kind of bias or or something and we decide well okay i'm going to publish as the opposite sex so that our my book will be accepted better 
So that could be another reason. So some people wonder, do you have to do anything special? Like, do you have to get something, you know, legal or something to, in order to be able to use this other name? And actually, no, you don't. Not for, not, you know, writers can do that. Uh, actors can do that. So you can take on uh, a pseudonym and the only thing you have to do is just start using it. Uh, but you do need to consider that everything needs to be in that name. So you need to have, you know, your social media account and any way that a reader is going to find you needs to, they need to be able to use your website, obviously. Uh, all of that will will be your author name. But anything legal, for example, if you publish with a traditional publisher, you'll be using your legal name. So the contract will have your legal name. It will not have your pseudonym because, like I mentioned, it's not a real name. It's a fake name. So your actual contract or anything legal will have your actual name. So should you use a pseudonym or not? Well, it really is going to depend, right? Now, if I had to do this all over again, I probably would choose not to use a pseudonym and to actually use my name. And the reason for that is that it just becomes a huge hassle. So I've had to use two pseudonyms. Uh, Laura Rios wasn't selling well. I wanted to change from strictly romance to more women's fiction. So I've, I had to change my name, right? So it, it, it's a hassle because now I have two social media accounts. I have uh, you know, different bank accounts and it just becomes more of a, of a hassle than it's worth because it's, it's, there's no, there's no actual huge benefit to using a pseudonym for me. Uh, but it just depends again on your reasons why you want to have a pseudonym, why you don't want to use your real name. And then it could, uh, you know, be beneficial to you because for whatever reasons you have. So I think you just need to decide, you need to look and say, okay, well, how, how is this going to benefit me? Uh, and, how is it going to make my life harder? <laughs> and so if, if it's more beneficial, then of course you will choose to use a pseudonym. Um, and you can, I mean, you can always change, but if you establish a following under your name, if you, if you become known for your pseudonym, you have to be prepared to use this name for the rest of your life. So make it a name that you want to use. It's, it's sometimes strange for me if, uh, for people that have gotten to know me under my pseudonyms that and, and I've and I got used to you know people call me Laura and of course I, I would respond at first I wouldn't and then I would and then it becomes kind of awkward especially if you develop a relationship and become friends with the person to later say well you know actually that's not my real name I mean they understand because I'm an author but it, it, it's just a little awkward sometimes so you have to decide why you want to do it is it worth it is it do you are, are you going to be happy if you become a bestseller and this is who you're known for forever to continue to use that name. So it's nice that we have that option and it's nice that uh, that uh, we, we can choose right to create this other persona who writes novels. Um, but it's something that you have to decide again and, and see if it's worth it. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope it's just uh, answered a few of your questions about pseudonyms. Uh, if it has, if you like the video, please hit the like and the share button. And also make sure that you're subscribing and that uh, you uh, come in back and join me next week uh, when you get notified that my next video is up. Thank you so much and I'll see you next week.